Ah, uh, well, hello everyone. Today is Thursday and I'm just happy I made it home. <laughs> Let me explain why that is. Um, it was just like one of those bad movies where temptation is all over. Um, so the preparations for Argentina continue and I had to go out and run some errands. And those errands took me to the mall and I did not anticipate what I was walking into. Um, so you guys, if you've been watching the last few videos, this week, so, so since Monday basically, we've been on a very low calorie, not almost by default, like not on purpose, but you know, we've stayed like under 1500 calories, like closer to a thousand calories per day. So, you know, and basically like one meal per day. So it's just, it's been, low calories and I think my body's feeling it. Um, and so <clears throat> I only had my coffee this morning cause I'm sort of now in a groove, like in a, yeah, where uh, I'm sort of, I don't like how I'm falling into a habit that I don't particularly like, but I'm sure that a lot of you guys can relate. And so I'm just like trying to get everything done that I need to get done. And so I just wake up and I have my coffee and I just need to get going, right? And so that was the thing. And then, oh, I get to the mall and I had to walk through the fucking foot court because that's how I needed to do it. Like the only way to get to where I needed to, not really the only way, but the only way without having to like go a big roundabout weight. And oh, I should have gone. It was bad. It was bad walking in there just like, it seems so silly and so simple, but fuck, it was hard. Cause it's like, you know, assaulted from all sides with delicious smells and people, happy people eating delicious food. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. And I don't know how I managed to get out of there. So, um, yeah, I made it, I managed to make it home and we're just gonna make a shake um, and just kind of keep going because we just need to do it, but it has been a little rough this last few days because then all of a sudden it's like we're, I'm taking out of the pattern that I had before. And so there, there are all these like little disruptions or, you know, like in the moment where before everything was in its place, nothing really is anymore. And it just, I don't think I properly estimated how, much of an impact that has on this whole thing. And so just, you know, being out, like sometimes like that, the convenience of it, and it's not only convenient, but it's delicious. And, you know, like there's such a heavy pull into, into that, in that direction. And so I'm just happy that I managed to get home, um, but it was not, it was not easy, so. All right, uh, let me figure out what we're making uh, to make a, a nutritious shake and we'll get going. All right. Okay, so we're gonna use all of our powders just to, you know, we're trying to use them before we go as much as we can because we have it. And so, uh, guys, I'm telling you, this is hard today. Ooh, I am feeling it. And, and I don't like that, you know, having any kind of disruption disrupts the mental process of doing this also. So that, I mean, is something that I really, really underestimated. Always have. I mean, it's like I'm new to this. I always have underestimated it. And then this happens and then everything goes to shit. And, you know, the only difference here is that now we're doing this, you know, there's a, I guess the commitment is a little bit deeper because I have you guys, but I really don't like that any minor disruption and all of a sudden it's like, okay, we're done. And so, pfft. okay, um, we're gonna start with the black um, heel, the black edition, which is the one that has less carbs, more protein. And we're gonna do 50 grams of this baby. That's 35. Forty-six. And just gotta look thing a little bit more. And 
49 and uh, come on 50 there you go okay we got that is down then next we are going to do the regular Huel, and this one's the one that we basically made uh, the least progress in. Still have a bunch of it. But we're also going to do 50 grams of this baby. So let me just zero that out. And let's go there. 30. And that's going to be 40. Or 38, 50, 49, 50. There we go. Perfect. And we keep it rolling. We are doing now this daily super blend. Again, you know, blend of superfoods. Um, okay, gluten free, um, black edition. Then we're doing the daily super blend. We're doing 66 grams of this baby. Actually, no, we're doing 50 grams. I didn't forget to change this. 50 grams of the daily super blend. Okay. Zero and 36. Forty-five, fifty-one. That's good enough. And we're gonna do thirty grams of the complete protein, which again, this is just like a protein shake from Huel. It's vegan, but it is a protein shake. So we're doing thirty grams of this baby. Oh, we got close. 29. That's going to give us 30. Yeah, that's good. 30 grams of the complete protein. And now we have MCT powder, coca powder, the flexi joints. Um, just a supplement that's supposed to help with joints, but I, I don't know, like with most supplements, do they really work? I don't know. We have it, so we use it. And then, let's see, we keep going. We're doing how many of the MCT powder? 30 grams of the MCT powder, which is the medium chain triglyceride powder, and it's basically healthy coconut fats. And we're gonna do 30. 15, 26, 28, 30. Okay, and last but not least is the cocoa powder. And we're doing 10 grams of this baby. So, That'll be it for powders. Five. Oh, come on. Went way over. Twelve. I mean, not terrible, but. Okay. And then the last thing that we're gonna do, aside from adding some water, obviously, is we are going to do uh, cherries. We're doing. How many cherries are we doing? Oh, we're doing the macadamia nut puree and the dark sweet cherries. So let me get the... This is what that looks like, guys. This is a supercharged um, shake. It's pretty nutrient heavy, I guess. Um, 
This is just like a macadamia puree. Uh, it's made by Blueprint. But again, you know, like some of these things, I was just so eager to get started. I bought a bunch of stuff and I have struggled a bit to get through them. I still think that they're a good idea, but starting out, they can be a little tricky. So let's put this, and this is basically straight up macadamias. So it's all fat basically, I believe. It's supposed to be 25 grams of nothing but macadamia puree. Ooh, it is actually a little more, 26. Okay, and then let's get the cherries in here. And we'll be done with this. 138, 100 and 40, somewhere around that. Okay. 120. 130. And 142. This is fine. All right. Let me add some water and then mix it. And we will be good to go, you. We will be good to go. Okay. We let it go down a little bit, just because that way we can fit a little more water in there. But yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, let me mix this and then we can take a look at the final numbers for this monster shake. Mm. Mm. It's pretty good. Again, you know, as far as chocolate shakes go, very good. Uh, it's just, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It has nothing to do with this, whether this is tasty or not. It's just, I don't want to fucking eat it. But anyway, so this is a pretty substantial lunch. We got 69 grams of carbs, 82 grams of protein, and 62 grams of fat. So this has 1,167 calories and, you know, gets us over halfway for all, of, almost two thirds of the way for carbs and halfway over halfway for protein and fat for today. So yeah, this is all pretty good. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, just kind of keep moving through the day, um, keep doing my stuff. But today was a close call, guys. I mean, like walking through the mall was very, very tricky. And it, it seems so simple and so silly because it's like a, like a small thing, like you just don't eat it. I mean, and yeah, it might be the, the mindset or I don't, I don't know, but it, it was hard. And so I'm glad I, I, I made it, but it was not easy. So I'm going to have this, I'm going to get back to work. I will see you guys in a little bit. Well, welcome back. Surprise, surprise. We're actually having dinner tonight as opposed to like every other day this week. It's kind of late, it's past eight o'clock, but I, and I debated like, oh, do I really want to, um, you know, skip dinner again? Cause I didn't really feel like I needed it. But again, you know, I really don't want my body to get used to this super low calorie, like super low calorie days. And so I'm going to have a protein and fat dinner and like zero carbs. So I have one egg left. I have one of those shrimp burgers uh, that's basically only shrimp, olive oil, salt and pepper, uh, or not even salt, I think it's just pepper. And then I have put some butter to cook it all in and a little bit of cheddar. Well, not more than a little bit, but like I'm going, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm making. Uh, and we'll see how to respond. I didn't wanna be super low because my weight has dropped significantly in the last couple of days. Like, it's like, six pounds in the last day. I know we haven't done the numbers and I need to get back to showing you guys a little bit more of that. I was also 
not really looking at it because remember I told you that I had this like eyes closed mode with my scale where it doesn't show you the numbers but still registers it. And so that's why I hadn't been showing it to you guys because I mean, it doesn't really say anything. But I happened to look this morning and yeah, it's just, it's a lot. So clearly not what we want. We want something a little bit more control, a lot more controlled. So let's have some food today and, you know, increase our calorie intake for the day and uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and make it. We'll look at the numbers and another day. What is it that I used to say? Another day done? I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with something a little bit better than that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, and here we have it. It's like a weird shrimp scrambled egg cheese thingy. So let's take a quick look at the macros for this and what we'll have for the day. So today was a low carb day. I had 135 grams of carbs to have. And so this ended up being only two grams of carbs from the cheese and the rest was 55 grams of protein and 62 grams of fat. So it ends up being one egg, two of those shrimp burgers that I bought uh, that were pretty good, like wild caught shrimp, um, and it only had the shrimp, olive oil, black pepper, and garlic. So excellent in terms, you know, nutrition wise. Uh, 20 grams of butter and 80 grams of cheese. So it's 785 calories and that would put us at 2018 calories for today. Great. That's, you know, like now within the range. Um, only two thirds of the way for carbs. So 87 out of 135, uh, almost all the protein, 136 out of 157 and perfect on fat, 124 out of 124. So we are good. And let's give this a try. Uh, and I don't have any clean forks, so I need to have it with a spoon. Mmm. I mean, what's not to like, right? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay. So we have a full day of eating, finally, as opposed to only like the single meal we've been doing for the entire week. It's hard. It's hard to keep that momentum going. I mean, it gets really difficult. And mm, for me, sort of that this change in my routine, preparing to go, and all the sort of pending things that makes me too anxious and then by the time I figure out like, oh, I haven't eaten anything. I'm, I haven't really planned. Then not just I haven't planned, but it almost like takes me out of the mindset to be doing this. And again, it's the most important thing is, is your head in the game? And it's very difficult to maintain your head in the game. So, all right, I'm gonna eat this. And then tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow we have a good day. We have a big day. We're doing our workout and tomorrow, we are going to figure out how much I weigh without my hair. So hopefully this won't interrupt our morning weight too much. I don't think so, shouldn't. I mean, they usually recommend not eating that close to bed and it's a little bit close to my bedtime, but there you go. So tomorrow we're doing all that and we'll finally see, you know, like how much, how much extra weight does my hair, my hair add to my overall weight, so. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow.